in life, in the practical, physical life, there are four main areas that all aspects of tests, of tikkuns, or dealings happen. And one of them, let's call it the area of the body. And a little bigger that people can see, yeah. And body include health, how do I take care of my body, food, everything that has to do with my physical body. That's a major area in our life. We spend time thinking about it, worrying about it. So that's one area that the tests of life, the tests of consciousness reveal itself. Another area is love and relationships which is the all area of friendships, of love, of interaction with other people, and that's a major test by itself as well. All the human connections that we all have. Another area, what would you say another area in our life, which is major? Finance, absolutely. Finance, finance includes everything that has to do with work, with handling money, with money affecting us, not affecting us, how does it affect us, how do we treat it, what is the goal behind it, what is the intention, it's another area. And what do you say, another area here? Work is part of finance. Health is part of body, we say. Spirituality is the overseeing here, we're going to the middle, okay? <laughs> we'll get there. What else there is, think about it. Relationship is here. Love and relationships. So the other one is time. Time. What do I do with my free time? With every available moment? You know? No. Yeah, that's fine. Uh -huh. Time. Great. So, <clears throat> and what, what's in the middle? Consciousness. So let's write consciousness with a, maybe a different marker. So when we speak about raising consciousness, is raising consciousness as far as how do I treat my body? How do I treat food? What do I do with my time? What's my consciousness? Am I consciousness of a giver or a receiver? It's all about my pleasures, my free time, or it's about time with responsibility? That every moment as a, as a test, is my consciousness in this moment is consciousness of adding value or giving? Or in the consciousness it's just, it's my free time, I'm entitled, it's mine, I can take for myself alone. With money, with work, with all the idea of business, Jim, it's all about raising consciousness around the environment of work and finance. And love and relationship, all the tikkuns around it, all the insecurities around, insecurities around it. So in consciousness, According to Rav Ashlag, there's 125 levels. Maybe there are 10 sfirot, but when he speaks about levels of consciousness of a human being, there are 125 levels from the ultimate light consciousness that one can achieve in this world to the lowest consciousness, Satan consciousness. And this is the ladder of consciousness that we all at least trying to climb. And basically, the, word, the way that it works, every area of my life, the way I treat my body, the food, finance, relationship, time, and so on, is according to my level of consciousness, that will affect how do I treat others, to what type of consciousness. Am I Satan consciousness, which is victim, poor me? Or I'm in a consciousness of taking responsibility? Am I in a consciousness of actually proactively sharing, not just when I'm asked, and so on? And according to my consciousness, that will affect my relationship. According to the test of consciousness in my relationship, that will affect my consciousness. But one of the things we need to know is, for example, when a person is focusing in raising his consciousness for the sake of having more financial success if raising the consciousness around financial success take away for my health take away for my relationship take away for my free time to do the positive things I want to do that's not really raising consciousness 
So one of the indications I'm truly raising consciousness in every area, it is adding value to my health. As I'm raising my consciousness the way I treat my friends, my loved one, my soulmate. And if it doesn't, it means I'm too obsessed about it and it's only focused about that day. It's not really consciousness, raising my consciousness. So when we talk about the whole purpose of the spiritual work, is to raise my consciousness about all aspects of my life. And that's our goal. That's our journey. The reason we study. The reason we learn about restriction. The reason we share. Sharing is one of the ways to raise my consciousness from Satan consciousness to light consciousness. As a result, every aspect of my life, my relationship, my health will be raised. The reason why, and you heard a lot from Karen in the last visit, the reason why so much chaos, pain and suffering in the world, because what would be, would you say, if let's say the seven levels of consciousness, what would you say the average collective consciousness in the world today? The average from one to seven. Seven is the highest, one is the lowest. What would you say is the average collective consciousness? If you take all of us our own ladder, from Satan victim consciousness to proactive light sharing consciousness, what would be the average? Actually, this, the statistic that I heard, and I think anyway, by, by, by some people that research it in their own scale, from one to seven, not necessarily the Kabbalistic scale, in the own, it's 1.7. Actually, the collective consciousness of the world. And since consciousness is everything, as a result, the state of relationship and love and true stability is major chaotic in the world, if you look at statistics. The state of the immune system of humanity, which attracts so many diseases with all the protection and technology and amazing adventures that we have <coughs> so far. When it speaks about financial instabilities and chaos, and of course, all the physical body include all the physical disasters that exist in the world. Because there's another actually angle here, our environment, our environment, our surrounding, our planet, animals and so on, all our environment. So our consciousness affects everything. Everything that we do here is not to be enlightened by an interesting class and to go home a more spiritual. Everything that we do is to raise our consciousness. And the biggest thing that one can do for the world is assist others to raise their consciousness. That's what the Kabbalah Center really is about. Because that's the seed that causes either harmony or chaos in the world. It's all about the level of consciousness. If I'm or the world is in a victim consciousness, Victim consciousness is the belief system that things happening to me without me because about it, be the cause about it. Things happening to me randomly. I am surprised in a bad way. So we will be surprised in a bad way because that's the consciousness, that's the energy, that's the frequency we projecting to the world. That will be the result. So now I'm starting my day with Anna Bekoach, with actions of sharing, with coming to a class. I need to have a desire. I'm not here just to feel good. I'm here, hopefully, to shift something in my belief system. And that's what knowing my tikkun is, knowing what consciousness I need to break through. And that's what really the work is about. Even when I do actions of sharing, it's not just for the sake of benefiting others. It's for the sake that through the merit of that giving, it would elevate my consciousness to a more place of certainty, more place of caring about others naturally, more cares of owning my life and believing I'm the cause of my life and nothing happened randomly. So this is just the first introduction about consciousness and what are we doing here personally and worldwide. Is it clear so far? Now let's relate it